In today's video, we're talking about image uploads in React. All right, so today's video, we're talking about image uploads in React. Um, and there's many different ways you can go about this. Uh, there's several different services. So you could use something like uh, Amazon uh, AWS to do it. They allow image uploads to do there. Um, you could just do it locally, save it to a folder uh, in your project. Um, various different ways, but one I found quite easy to use is Cloudinary. So that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, it kind of simplifies a few things and, and makes it easy. So what I want you to do is go to cloudinary.com. Um, they're going to have you, I have an account already signed up here, but sign up for an account. Um, and once you're done with that, it should bring you to this dashboard here. Now, what we're going to do once on this dashboard is set up our image uploads here before we do any uh, of the coding or anything like that. So if you're at the dashboard, come over to here. This is your settings. I'm going to click on that. It'll bring you over here. And we're going to go over to upload here. And as you can see, this will be your, your main panel here. Um, and it'll show you these upload presets. And you're going to want to go ahead and create an upload preset. So I have ones created here, but if you don't, you're going to say add upload preset. And then I'll just show you through an edit and you're going to name your upload preset it's called mine Darwin. You're going to have it unsigned. Uh, you're going to name the folder, whatever you name it. And then you're going to come down and that should be it for that. So that's all you need to do. Go ahead and press save or um, uh, whatever you need for that. Um, and actually let's go back here. So then we're going to do one other thing. So click on Upload Manipulations, and we're going to create an eager transformation. And this will help us uh, with the scale of it. So if you uh, don't have one, say Add Eager Transformation. I'll just show you what it looks like through Edit here. And we're just going to type in 500 here uh, with the width, and then that'll auto, auto scale it. Um, so once that's done, you can uh, press OK. And then that's basically all we need. So if we go back to our dashboard here, you'll see that this is uh, the URL that we're going to use here um, in order to uh, to do our um, to upload our images to. All right, so once that's done, uh, we're going to open up our terminal shell like usual, and like uh, we have in the past, we're going to use Create React App to do this. So we're going to go npx create React App, and we're just going to call this image upload. And we'll let that run. All right, and then once that's done, we can um, CD into that. And I'm going to open it up in VS Code. You can obviously use whatever, uh, whatever you like. And then let's open this up here. Let me format it a little better so you can see it. OK, that should be good. And we're going to open up our terminal inside of VS Code. And we're just going to run npm start. And we have our app right there. So that's good. Now there's a few things we're going to get rid of just to start that we don't need. We don't need this app.test. Uh, so we're going to delete that. We can delete the logo. Uh, what else can we delete? We yeah, we can just keep the rest of it. I guess it doesn't really matter. So this is what our um, app.js looks like. And we don't need most of this. So we're going to get rid of all this. And we can go from there. We'll get rid of this and this. And we'll see if that gives us any problems. So that looks like it's still working. Let's check it out in the window. What we got. And let's see. That looks like it's good, just an empty uh, blank page there. So we'll go back here. Now, to start off, we're going to be using hooks like uh, we have in the past. So here we go. We're going to bring in use state, which is the new React hook stuff. Um, so that's good. And actually, we can get rid of this too. Uh, or maybe we'll use. Yeah, we'll keep that as uh, app.css. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll bring in use state here. Okay, that looks better. 
Now we're going to have a couple pieces of state here. Give ourselves a little room here. So we're going to say const. Uh, the first thing we're going to need state for is our image. And we're going to have set set image also. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to use state. And if you don't know um, hooks at all yet, we uh, there's a previous video on that. So you can kind of an intro to, to hooks. So you can check that out if you want. And then we're going to have a loading state too. So we're going to go const and we'll go loading. This is basically just how you set state in hooks. Loading. Equals use state. And we'll start that as false. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will add um, our input. So let's actually give ourselves just an h1 here that's just going to say upload image okay and below that we're going to have an input or an input not an input input and it's going to be type text file not text and we're going to have a few more things so let's give ourselves a little room here and we're going to have a name which is equal to file do a placeholder here and that'll be equal to upload an image we'll have an on change which is equal to and we'll say upload image okay and then I think that's all we need for that so go ahead and save that and that'll uh, save and uh, do some prettier action there and you can see there's we got some errors but that's okay because um, we haven't gone ahead and created the upload file or anything yet now we've created or we've have this on change um, which is upload image so we need to now create that so we're going to go const upload image and this is going to be an async uh, async function and we're going to create uh, files equals e dot target dot files and con oops, e dot target dot files and then we're going to go const data equals new form data all right and below that we're going to have to append a couple things to this new form data so this data um, constant we're creating here is data variable is going to hold a new form uh, the new form data and then onto that new form data we're going to append a couple things so we'll go data dot append and we want file although that's in uh, yeah, it's got to be file like that and then we're going to get the first item in the files array okay so we want to get the first item the zeroth item in the files array Okay, and then we still have to go data dot append and here it needs to use something called upload reset and that's uh, something specific to Cloudinary. And then whatever you called um, your upload preset. So I called my Darwin back in here. If we can look here uh you can see i think it's back in settings here and upload so whatever you call this you wanna you wanna it needs to match up with um this here so make sure that's the same and then here we're gonna go set loading and we're gonna set that to true all right and then below that, we're going to say const response is equal to await. And we're going to use the fetch API here. And that's going to be HTTP colon backslash backslash API dot cladinary dot com slash v1 underscore one. And then let me show you where I got this because this will be different for you. So again, you want to go back here um, to your dashboard 
and this will be right here. So this is what I'm copying in here. So we'll just go ahead actually and copy that and get back here. So go ahead, paste that in, whatever yours is. And then we're gonna go slash image slash uh, upload. Can't type today. Okay, and we'll go do a comma there. And then we have a couple things that need to go along with this. So we're gonna open up a, a pair of brackets here, uh, curlies. And then we're gonna go method, and that's gonna be post. And the body of the me message is gonna be data. I think that's it for that. And then we wanna come down below here. We're gonna say const file is equal to await. And then we're gonna res.json. So we wanna get a JSON response back from that. And once there, I'm gonna get, uh, go down a level and say set image. And it's gonna say file.secure underscore URL. And that was one of the options is a secure URL. And then after that, we're gonna set our loading. Loading, and that's gonna be equal to false. So as you can see, where did we set loading before? Set loading right in here. So we did the upload. So while it's uploading, it's gonna set loading to true. Then we're gonna fetch the, the uh, upload and then we're gonna set it to false once once it comes back there. All right, so then we're gonna come down below, below our input here, and this is where we're just gonna show uh, the image, but we're gonna do um, a ternary here. So loading, question mark, and we're gonna set, we'll set like an h3, and we'll just say loading, and then below that, is gonna be where we're gonna put the image. So we're gonna have an IMG tag here. And that's gonna be equal to our image. And then, uh, let's, we're actually gonna do a style on that too. And that's gonna be equal to a width of 300 picks, just so it doesn't uh, take up the whole thing. Okay, and we have some something not right. This should not be. This should be not a curly bracket, but uh, and then this should be. There we go. Okay, save that. See if we have any errors. It doesn't look like we have any errors. So let's go and test it out here. So go back here. We got our file. It says upload image here. We're gonna click on this and we can go ahead and just choose a file here. We're gonna open that up. And it doesn't look like we're getting the loading here. So let's, let's see what this is about. Uh, Oh, we have on change spelled wrong apparently. Duh. Let's look at our on change. On change. Make sure you spelled that right. And we'll go back again. Choose a file. And we'll go logo here. Open it up. And there it is. And you can see that it came back if you go to your uh, React Dev Tools and we look up uh, here, you can see that it's in the state. Now this isn't gonna save to a database, so if we refresh, it's gonna go away. Um, but easily you can just create an express backend or something and save this string just to your database and that's fairly easy. And maybe we'll do another video of uh, persisting the data to a database or something like that. But uh, I think for now that's good. And uh, so hopefully this helps with um, uploading images in react and i think it's pretty straightforward so uh cloudinary is a good a good system and if we go here actually um maybe refresh this and we can see that our images are actually should be there so you can see right here on our dashboard the image shows up okay
great. So that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you like it and uh, hit the like button. And until next time, thanks for watching.